I'm Joe Moisiek, and I'm the curator of paleontology and geology here at the Manitoba Museum. And today it's my pleasure to introduce you to a brand new fossil species. So this is an animal that we call Masura fentanai. That's a name that was inspired by the fictional Japanese character Mothra, and also by one of our longtime museum colleagues from the Royal Ontario Museum who was influential in the study of these fossils. Now this is a very bizarre looking animal. There's really nothing that looks like this alive today. So it has a head with three eyes. It has a pair of jointed claws with these long blade-like spines, sort of like Edward Scissorhand style. And then it has a body that's lined along the sides with these pairs of swimming flaps. And so you can imagine this animal sort of swimming a little bit like a manta ray by undulating those flaps up and down. And then uniquely at the back end of the body of this animal, it has this really interesting structure, which looks a little bit like an insect's abdomen. The segments there are very small, and it has these very small flaps along the side, but lots of gills on the underneath. And this is actually a pretty neat feature because it's something that we haven't seen in this particular group of animals before. So this belongs to a group that's called the radiodonts. They're completely extinct today but they uh, represent some of the earliest arthropods that we know of in the fossil record. So these are distant relatives of modern insects and spiders and crabs. But these guys actually branched off before the evolutionary divergence of all of those modern forms. And so as a result, they tell us a little bit about the ancestry of that group as a whole. We can see similar features in, uh, for example, modern pill bugs or wood lice. So you can see at the back end of this guy, we have uh, a series of segments that have been modified and on the underside, they have pairs of gills. And that's very similar to what we see in this fossil, although this is a 500 million year old organism. So this study was a collaboration with colleagues at the Royal Ontario Museum. And it's based on some work that I've been doing uh, for quite a number of years now on fossils from a spectacular site called the Burgess Shale, which is in southeastern British Columbia. It's fantastic to be able to work on these world famous fossil sites and uh, learn more about the sorts of organisms that were inhabiting the oceans that once covered our huge country. This was one of the key specimens in the study. And you can see what we photographed it using different lighting conditions here. And that enables us to see different features in the fossil. So on the left side, you can see the overall body outline. Whereas in the image on the right here, we can actually see these reflective traces that represent the internal organs of this animal. So we can actually uh, see details of the nervous system, including in the eyes, which looks very similar to what we see in some modern arthropods. And we also see remains of the circulatory system, which are these large triangular structures in the body. So this animal would have had what we call an open circulatory system. So instead of uh, having a heart that pumps blood through arteries and around our body, like uh, in, in us humans. These animals have a heart that simply pumps blood out into the body cavity, and then that blood flows around through various different cavities before it eventually circulates back to the heart again. And just to show you a scientific illustration here, you can see it colored in orange here, the remains of that circulatory system preserved inside this animal. We're very pleased that uh, we're gonna be having some fossils of Masura, as well as some other related animals that will be coming to the Manitoba Museum this fall and will be going on temporary display. So please stay tuned for that.